What's up everybody, Steve and Jolie here. We are at the foot of the Skyway Bridge. We took a trip to Clearwater and St. Pete Beach recently. We actually live a little bit further south of these areas, a couple hours south, so we needed to take the Skyway Bridge. So I figured what would be better than to shoot some video, going over the bridge, and maybe uh, giving some history on the disaster that happened back here in the 1980s. Full disclosure, majority of the information that I'm reading off is from Wikipedia, so I will provide a link as well if you guys do want to read this information further in detail. The Sunshine Skyway Bridge is a cable bridge spanning the lower Tampa Bay connecting St. Petersburg. The current Sunshine Skyway opened in 1987. The four-lane bridge carries Interstate 275 and U.S. Route 19 passing through Pinellas County, Hillsborough County, and Manatee County. The original bridge opened in 1954 and was the site of two major maritime disasters within a few months in 1980. In January 1980, the United States Coast Guard Cutter Blackthorn collided with the tanker Capricorn near the bridge, resulting in the sinking of the cutter and the loss of 23 crew members. Furthermore, additional devastation in May of 1980, the freighter MV Summit Venture collided with a bridge support during a sudden squall resulting in the structural collapse of the South Band Span and the death of 35 people when vehicles plunged in, into the Tampa Bay. When the freighter MV Summit Venture collided with the pier during a sudden squall sending tw over 1,200 feet of the bridge plummeting into the the Tampa Bay. This collision caused six cars, a truck, and a Greyhound bus to fall 150 feet into the water killing 35 people. One man named Wesley McIntyre survived when his Ford Courier pickup truck ended on the deck of the Summit Venture before falling into the bay. He sued the company that owned the ship and settled in 1984 for $175,000. John Laro was the harbor pilot who had been steering the ship, was later cleared of wrongdoing by both a state grand jury and a coast guard investigation. A microburst had suddenly hit the freighter with torrential rains and 70 miles per hour winds as it was in the middle of a turn in the shipping channel nearing the bridge, cutting visibility to near zero and temporarily rendering the ship's radar useless. Laro put the ship's engines into full reverse and ordered the emergency dropping of the anchor as he soon realized the freighter was out of the channel, but the bow still hit two support piers and enough force to cause a portion of the roadway to collapse. Within a few years, the damaged bridge was demolished. The surviving span was partially converted into a long fishing pier on each side of the bridge, which you guys can see here. I can tell you, every time I take a ride on this bridge, I'm always white knuckled. It is a very, very high bridge, and um, it, it, it is an adventure. If you guys ever do make it out this way, you guys definitely want to check out the bridge or at least go to the fishing pier. So be sure to check that out. Also. If you guys do like this area, St. Pete, Clearwater Beach, check out some of these other videos that we have of us exploring the area. Thanks a lot for your support.